Now we will talk about the largest organelle in eukaryotic cell, the nucleus. In previous module, I introduced nucleus as the governor house of the cell. Nucleus dictates the function of a cell. Function of a cell is dependent upon the proteins it has. The proteins, the recipes of all the proteins are contained in the nucleus in the form of genetic code which is made up of DNA. Nucleus has certain features. Nucleus is double membrane structure. It has two membranes. Nucleus has pores through which molecules can go in and molecules can come out of the nucleus. For example, the RNA we saw in the animation comes out of the nucleus through those little holes. These nuclear pores also have to allow different material to go inside the nucleus. For example, ribosomes, when they are assembled, they are assembled inside the nucleus. The protein has to move into the nucleus where it is assembled into the ribosome and then that ribosome is expelled out of the nucleus. The place where ribosomes are assembled is called the nucleolus. Here you can see these little pores in the nucleus. The other important feature of the nuclear membrane is that nuclear membrane is also continuous with the membranes of the cell which we will talk about later. Those are the endoplasmic reticulum. Nuclear membrane is continued with these membranes. Inside the nucleus, there is a structural element, a type of skeletal element, it, which is called nuclear lamina, that is holding basically maintaining a specific shape of the nucleus. Nuclear lamina is very important. It not only maintains the shape of the nucleus, it also protects the DNA contained in the nucleus from damage. For example, there is a disease called progeria. In this disease, there is a mutation in the gene that codes for this nuclear lamina. If nuclear lamina is not present, the DNA gets damaged very easily and people suffering from this disease, they age much more rapidly than normal people. Now, let's look at other features of nucleus. Nuclear pore is made, has an trigonal symmetry, which means that nuclear pore is made up of eight proteins, and these are similar proteins. They make basically, they are arranged in a way that they are making the periphery of the hole which is present in the nucleus. This hole is, or the nuclear pore, the proteins that are making this nuclear pore have to be very selective that they, what molecules they allow in and what molecules they allow to leave. Small molecules can pass through these nuclear pores very easily or leave the nuclear space very easily. However, larger molecules are regulated. Here we have uh, on the screen, you can see the structure of nuclear pores. The nuclear pores, as I mentioned, have octagonal symmetry, electron micrograph of a nuclear pore. Here you can see the nuclear lamina. This is an, also an electron micrograph of the nucleus. Now we will come to the what is the major content of the nucleus. It is the nucleic acid, as we know. Nucleic acid or the DNA is arranged in chromosomes inside a eukaryotic nucleus. During cell division, this chromatin, this DNA, is condensed and it forms discrete structures called chromosomes. We will talk about chromosomes in a later lecture, but these chromosomes are basically made up of DNA and protein, special type of protein molecules called histones. They contain this DNA. The DNA is wrapped tightly around the histone molecules. We will talk about this in a subsequent uh, module.